little bugs like cabbage moths love to lay their little babies on the leaves and then all you'll see is little cabbage cabbage leaf <laughs> oh my gosh why can't I talk like a normal person growing cabbage is probably my favorite veggie to grow and to eat I love to make it into lots of different things like I like to steam it I like to roast it with butter and salt um, just this year I've really started making my own sauerkraut which is my absolute favorite probably if you asked me what my favorite food is it would probably be sauerkraut I love it so much it's my favorite I just love cabbage it's pretty it's relatively easy to grow I just love it <laughs> it just makes me so happy although it hasn't always been that easy to grow for me in the past, I have had many cabbages succumb to bugs and pests or a chicken getting out and eating it. They, a lot of things like to eat cabbage besides me. Today, I'm gonna to show you a simple trick that I have started to do to ensure that I get to eat my cabbage before anything else does. Well, I've had trouble growing cabbage in the past. Things, little bugs like cabbage moths love to lay their little babies on the leaves. And then all you'll see is little cab cabbage leaf. <laughs> What's it called? Oh my gosh, why can't I talk like a normal person? We've had problems with aphids. We've had problems with cabbage moths that like to come and lay their little, like you've seen them in the garden before probably in your garden at home. They look like cute little butterfly looking moth things, but what they're doing is laying their eggs in your cabbage, in your kale, in your other types of brassicas like cauliflower and broccoli, just so they can lay their eggs and their, egg, their eggs will hatch and eat away at all of your food. So, we've had problems with those in the past. Now, I try to keep my garden as organic as humanly possible. I do not want to spray anything on here. Yeah, I don't want to spray anything on here, period. I, I, don't, I don't want to go through the work of spraying, of doing the spraying. I don't want to worry about what's, what I'm eating, what's on my food. So, if I can set up a system that will prevent me from having to do the work of spraying or having to worry about what I put on even if it is labeled organic I don't want to have to worry about those things so in my garden I have tried to be as hands-off as organically hands-off as possible okay so here's a simple trick that I've been doing for a few years now it is so simple and it will keep all your flying hello She's always right there. <laughs> I've been doing for the last few years to keep all of those little flying insects away from my cabbage. This is a simple light mesh that I actually, I think I bought it from uh, gardeners.com or gardensupply.com. I don't know, but I'll link it below. It is just a very, very light mesh, so you can see my hand through it. So it's letting in, it will let in water and air, that's important. But all of the bugs I don't want cannot get through this mesh, okay? So, if you look underneath, look underneath, you'll see all of my cabbage are perfectly safe underneath this light mesh. Hope they look good. I'm so excited to make some more sauerkraut. And you'll notice that there's no leaves damaged. There's hopefully there's no leaf damage that I can tell so far. Everything's looking really good. Now, of course, this doesn't stop every bug ever from entering and getting your cabbage. I still have, okay, here's an example. I still have a little bit of biting right there. Um, that's probably from slug damage or something, but 
I come out here every so often and check for slug damage. So sometimes I'll come out here and pick off the lower leaves, which is fine for the cabbage. It turns out okay. But if it's damaged like that, I'll just come through and pick it off and feed it to the chickens. I've also used the fabric that, oh, was, is it called tulle? It's like what you would use for like a dress or a wedding dress or I'm not a seamstress. I don't really know what you use it for, but it's tulle. And that creates that barrier between that bugs can't get through as well. So that's a good option and it's really cheap. Tool is very inexpensive. The, I also failed to show you what I have the mesh sitting on. I have a wire, it looks like this. This is a wire uh, hoop, I guess you'd call it. And I also ordered this from Gardener Supply or Gardener.com, I don't remember <laughs> the exact address, but um, these have worked really well for me and they're sturdy and they'll last basically forever. Um, I know that they also sell some clamps that you can buy. Right now, I just have these cheap clamps from the from like the Home Depot or Lowe's and, or off Amazon, um, and they work fine too. I don't. They're going. I don't know if they're going to just rip the mesh after a while. So I'm looking for a better option. So that is my cabbage tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you go out and grow all your own cabbage organically and pest free and I hope you join me next time on Ella Diggs Food. Bye. <laughs>